kini gbo gbo yi he ijesha buru pure o o ki o ri ti why the morning why the afternoon why the night drug abuse across nigeria has become increasingly troubling with many young people including teenage girls and young women getting addicted to drugs on a daily basis Confirming this, a 2018 survey on drug use in Nigeria sponsored by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime stated that one of four drug users is a woman. God don't share any something must kill a man. Is that by woman? Is that by phone? Is that by gamble? Yeah, so when you gamble, you don't feel bad for being. But one thing must kill a man. Yeah. Killing me on the cold. Yeah. Uh, my experience taking um, weed generally, although it was my first time and it was my last time. My work was shabby. I my work was shabby. My wife for my report. My last school, my mother was my family. I just can't get me. I just can't go. My light, I don't have fun, but in life, I don't care what to pop. I don't what to pop by it. Life is really sad. I don't care what to pop. So, on the long run, I took my first pop. I didn't feel anything. I was expecting that immediately I take this thing, there's going to be a reaction. But there was no reaction at all. Then they feel that. We are actually um, exploiting or exploring a lot of things, but in the real sense of it, we are actually killing themselves gradually. Hey, I felt it, I don't mind jamming you can feel it. I could possibly I could I they tell you it helps their brain function maximally because they are trying to alter the processes of the brain in the sense that it's more like you're introducing um, it's more like you're introducing something to spark up the effect of a thing. So when when this happens, okay, take for example when you light when you light a fire. When you light a matchstick, it sparks up, the fire comes on. But it will burn for a period of time and then it goes off. That's just the same way it seems. When they introduce the substances, to them, they feel like it's helping them function maximally. But they are killing a lot of things in their brain. I'm having a reason to see your comment. I'm having a reason to see your comment. Yeah, <laughs> Kaka Kofi so ko ya o fe sai take decision asap to ba fa wa kam wa tu ni extra option option one option two masare jade but if say na once pe ko life is what you ko kin fa ah sorry o ma fa tele o wa ri kan ko fa o ko wo ni o ma soro fun ma wo bi guru oloboro ni o they're damaging a lot of brain cells they're disrupting a lot of chemical processes in the brain and they don't know this so for some it they, they calm down, they break down within a short period of time. For some, it takes them years. But no matter what, they still break down because this is the introduction of something harmful to the brain. So either it's, it's helping them at some point, it's still going to have its effect at the later end because it's harmful to the brain. Aside from deteriorating mental disorders and deaths in several cases, many youths have dropped out of school, lost their jobs and relationships due to drug use and addiction. Our 
Nukaja juu Wafagu Shamu kuja singo za juu wa dao Jibwa nifa kulu gong Ulo fagong Kuja gong wa nile Jibwa yifu sinu Shamu Tu jola la hindi mbalian a lot of them fall out of work, drop out from schools. They tend to um, withdraw from their family. They lose interest in a lot of things that they do. And some actually result into committing suicide. And some go to the extent of killing their loved ones. Not because they want to, but because they are under the influence of these substances. So there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of heels attached to it substance abuse, just to mention anything. All my body, my blood, I can feel it run through my veins. I was not just feeling comfortable in that moment. Everything that I've done for the past like months, years, were coming into my brain. The faculties to Jebi Boko were awful. Lucky, my little Mimi, my little girl. Ki wa ya ja, come and rearrange me. Hey, little Mimi, go da the be, go da we play GFN or ki mechanic, cause I help you. Hey, little Mimi, go da the hey, hey, little Mimi, go da the be, ki me do like coco ma, hey, coco ma she smells more itiny, but oh she the mood. Among others, joblessness, poor parenting, and peer group pressure have been linked to substance abuse. To address this worsening societal problem, experts canvassed a holistic approach, from social to economic standpoint. <laughs> Getting out of addiction is not just by one's doing, it's not just something one can do by his or herself. It requires expert care. And how do they access expert care? They have to be on admission in a rehabilitation home where they are being monitored by mental health nurses, psychiatrists, counselors, occupational therapists, psychologists, and the likes. by force now. Mm. Draw not be by force. If you know Sabi, they draw not take her. I mean, my take care of my reality and all that in a round. Hello, me, daddy, father, my mama will be good. Your love, Boroni. Hello, me, who came out with by my jelly and only. Hello, my suit. You don't have a party, so, eh. You know, see, eh, the sense, the past sense. The oja, the past oja. So it depends on the kind of order we take. Well, I'm a far. You see, only can look for to tell you. Ah, tell you, you are just a lot better last year. Ask me. But I'm totally far. But yeah, that's why for my family one, yes, but also the life here. That's why for my family two, the love, also the life here. I'm a lot for my family one, the color. It's important for the individual to identify and understand what he or she has lost or what he or she has been deprived of because of the substances he or she has abused. Rehabilitation is just to help the individual identify and understand that you can do away with this thing. It's not left for the individual to accept that. Some go back into the society and they result into relapse, being that they start all over again, they start abusing substances. And I think the society has a lot to do because um, Going back to the society, they tend to mix with those they, those they were relating with before they came for rehabilitation. So if the society is capable of curbing this menace in the sense that um, people do not have access to these substances because there are government policies and laws that fight against sales of these substances, it's going to help. But there are 
there are chances of them falling back to substance abuse when they come out of rehabilitation, sure. <laughs> I once had a patient who said he resulted into substance abuse because that is the only thing that helps him to eat. And for some, they don't eat. For some, they don't sleep. For some, they sleep. Most of them have sleep disorders in the sense that they don't have adequate sleep. And this is because they're interfering with a lot of things that are going on in the brain, they're interfering with the neurotransmitters in the brain. Addiction is bad. Addiction is a silent killer. No matter what is happening that has pushed you to result into substance abuse, it's not enough. You're killing yourself gradually. And death is not when someone stops breathing. Death is in bits, seek for help. There are a lot of mental institutions out there. Seek for help before it gets too late. You can't throw your child away. You can't throw your relative away. You can't abandon them. They need you more as a spirit. Because if they had the self will, they wouldn't result into substance abuse. And at this period of their lives, they need you more. The process of rehabilitation is not just about the medical thing. It also involves the family. If the family does not provide adequate support. Rehabilitation means nothing. Help them seek for help. Create time to listen to your children. Create time to listen to those around you. There's a lot going on with people and they need someone to talk to. Help them before they result into helping themselves.